Hi, today we're going to read A Gift for Mother. It's a Babar the Elephant book. Please like, share, and subscribe. Sunday is Mother's Day. Celeste's children were excited because Mother's Day was coming. At school, Pam made her mother a bowl out of clay. Flora had saved her chore money for months. She bought Celeste a tiny glass horse. Ooh. Alexander chose a shiny silver balloon for his mother. Isabel had no present to give. She was too young to go to school and make something, and too little to do chores for money to buy a gift. Oh, poor Isabel. She decided to go talk to her father. Maybe he could help. She found Babar in his study. Come in, he said, looking up from his work. Then he saw her face. Isabel, what's the matter, he asked. Everyone has a present for mother but me, she said. Hmm, said Babar. Let's think about this. If you could give your mother anything, what would you give her? Isabel remembered what her brothers and sister had done. I would give her a huge bowl made of gold, said Isabel, and silver too, and diamonds. Very nice, said Babar. And what else? And a horse, said Isabel, a big pink one. And the bowl and the horse would be delivered by me in a great big hot air balloon. That sounds like a splendid Mother's Day present, said Babar. But I can't give her those things, said Isabel sadly. I'm too little. Oh. You're too little for a lot of things, said Babar. Maybe we could find a way to show your mother that you were thinking about her. I know, cried Isabel. I can make her a picture. That's something I'm good at. Babar smiled. Let's get out the crayons, he said. Isabel drew and drew and drew and drew some more. She filled up the whole paper with color. And when she was done, ta-da! On Mother's Day, the family came together to celebrate. First, Pam gave Celeste the bowl she had made. What a magnificent bowl, said Celeste. I can see you worked very hard on it. I did, said Pam. Then Flora gave her the glass horse. How lovely, said Celeste. You must have saved your money for a long time. I did, said Flora. Alexander gave her a shiny balloon. What a wonderful balloon, said Celeste. You must have chosen it very carefully. I did, said Alexander. Finally, it was Isabel's turn. Celeste untied the ribbon and unrolled Isabel's gift. Why, Isabel, what a wonderful present, said her mother. It's a gold and silver bowl and a pink horse, said Isabel. And there's me bringing them to you in a hot air balloon. It's marvelous, said Celeste. I can see you thought about this gift a great deal. I did, said Isabel, beaming. Do you know what I think, said Celeste? I think I'm the luckiest mother in the whole world. And by golly, she is. <laughs> right after your mama, I'm sure. <laughs> Well, I hope you have a happy Mother's Day. As Tigger says, ta-ta for now. I love you. 
Thank you so much for listening. Bye-bye.